Hello there. What's up, guys? So it's Thursday's tactics session. Um, two hours of tactics only chess starting now. So let's start. Puzzles. Okay, so last day I lost. <laughs> I definitely lost some rating, but at least I ended up in a good streak. Let's see if we can start good today. Um, so what do we have here? This is a very exposed queen, maybe we can trap it, but for example rook e4 I guess he just takes, so not easy. And rook here, the problem is, I think he takes this bishop. So black is attacking this bishop. White is also attacking this bishop back. So, for example, yeah, I like this move. So knight e2, for example, defends the bishop and attacks the queen. And the queen cannot, for, let's say, take here because then he loses the bishop. Uh, the material count is one pawn down for us, so taking a piece is good. So if he cannot take on b2, what can the queen do? She needs to keep in touch with the bishop, so I only see two moves. I only see two moves. because there's no way he has any counterplay against my queen like queen e4 okay this is important if queen e4 we don't take the queen <laughs> because knight takes e4 would defend the bishop if queen e4 we just take the bishop okay that doesn't work so if queen c5 or queen b4 i guess we keep attacking the queen so for example knight here queen b4 we have a3 and then he definitely has to go here. And uh, then, yeah, then rook c1, right? Either rook. Yeah. And if knight here, queen c5, I guess we can start with the rook. And then if queen b4, go a3. And the point is our bishop is defended. Okay, I think knight 2 works. Yeah. So he went for this. So we don't take because knight takes would defend the queen. We just take the bishop, right? And it's just a piece for us. And then he doubles our pawns on f3, but you know, a piece is a piece. Okay, six points. Good. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, uh, I'm thinking about this move, bishop here. <laughs> uh, and actually, it's the only move I can see because our queen is trapped so okay bishop f4 definitely saves the queen because if rook takes bishop takes and then we're threatening a bishop and a rook so we're winning an exchange i think and if he i mean he cannot take the, well he can take and we win an exchange also but but then our king is a little bit iffy right i don't know we also have this counterplay, so okay, now I'm seeing a second move. <laughs> huh. um, and for some reason, I didn't consider queen takes g5. <laughs> but queen takes g5, definitely a move to, to have in mind. What's the issue? Maybe queen d5. No, rook takes h3. If we stop defending h3, rook takes h, rook takes h3 with a really strong attack and threats everywhere. So I guess we cannot afford that. So okay, candidate moves bishop here, knight here, pawn to f4 also. Pawn to f4, same idea as with the bishop but without the bishop. Yeah, the problem is then. Uh, oh, it's yeah, it's a problem. So f4, rook takes, pawn takes, rook takes g3, king h2, 
and bishop takes defend defends the rook so I guess if we do it we do it with the bishop Hmm. But I cannot calculate that. And if knight c4, how do we win with black? Let's say rook takes, knight takes, and okay, that's funny because in the other line. I was saying, and then we're threatening the bishop and threatening the rook, which was good because we were winning the exchange, but here we also win the exchange because the rook is trapped. So knight c4, rook takes queen, knight takes queen. How does he even try and save the rook? We're not threatening the bishop, but the rook is trapped? There might be a difference between giving up the knight or the bishop for the rook. So what's the difference? Ah, okay. So let's continue the line. Knight c4, rook takes, knight takes, bishop takes, I have to take the rook, then rook h8 comes, threatening mate. And we need to go f3 to stop it. And then he takes on g3. Okay. Now in the line with bishop f4. It's, it's the same, right? Takes, 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 takes. Here. And we gotta go f3. He can take here. And the only difference is we have a knight on b2 or we have a bishop on c1. Maybe the difference is not in the line where we trade queens. Maybe the difference is maybe I'm giving additional options here like queen d5. Okay, queen d5 is scary in both lines. because I need to address a checkmate threat and also he's attacking my queen so <laughs> I don't even know how to stop both I have a trick in the knight line so knight c4 queen d5 yeah but that's on, on, only a trick it doesn't quite work. I wanted queen here, but it doesn't seem to work. Because rook takes, pawn takes, he cannot take because of knight takes d6 check. But after rook takes, pawn takes, he has queen c6 at least. So that's no good. Queen d5 here. If knight takes, oh yes, knight takes d6 check. He has to take it with the queen or not. Or maybe he doesn't. Maybe he goes king b8. Oof. <laughs> it seems better to play this, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Queen d5. And if bishop here, queen in d5, what do we do? It's even worse. We don't, we don't even have a check. Ah. Okay, now here, queen d5. Knight takes d6 check. King b8. And the problem is he's with queen d5 he's threatening not only queen d2 but also queen h1. Otherwise taking the rook would defend the mate. 
But yeah, queen d5 also threatens queen h1. So knight c4, queen d5. What do I do? I don't want to lose my queen. I don't think I have enough material if I go like knight takes d6 check, king b8, knight takes b7 and then takes on d8 No, I don't think that's working Although the rook gets trapped on g4 so maybe that gets working Yeah, okay, that's beautiful Knight here, queen d5, knight check, king b8, knight takes, rook takes g4, knight takes, and the rook is trapped on g4. So I get like a, a lot of material I would end up, even if I lose the knight, it's going to be two rooks and bishop for the queen. That should be winning. Now, he can try after knight here, queen d5, knight takes, check. Uh, so if he takes on d6, I take the rook, that's no problem. So he can try this, this is the other move. And then I count it on knight b5 check, but I'm not sure if I have something better. I could even go knight takes b7 for the same idea. If rook takes queen, I take on d8, and even if he takes my, my knight. Okay, so at least I see a point in going here instead of this. So let's try. Oh, he took my queen. Okay, that's easier, I guess. And I guess I take the rook, and after rook h8 I play f3. Oh, <gasps> didn't see this coming. Okay. So bishop here and bishop h4. That seems like one defense. That seems like a defense. I honestly don't see another another defense. I have no time to run. He's blocking all of my pawns. I really need to block there. I don't have time for any king here, and I don't have time to protect h8 square. So it seems like the only move. But uh, yeah, okay, plus seven. It was a little bit tougher than the previous one. This is 2200 rating, okay. I think the most complicated positions are not the ones where we trade queens, because if he's going to trade queens, this line should also work for me. The idea is after takes here. Oh, no way. He has this now and I don't have bishop g5. So I got lucky because the, la the lines I was calculating didn't have anything to do with trading queens. I mean, I saw the queen trade, but I didn't see bishop f3. I missed that, that idea. What I saw was that after this, if he threatens checkmate and the queen, I can go check. If he takes, I'm okay because he's no longer threatening mate. If he goes here or here, this seems more accurate. I'll take here, he takes my queen, I take his rook, he takes my... And this is a lot of material for the queen. And I should be winning. But this was the most difficult line to see, not the other one. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? We have two very good bishops and a very good rook that can maybe, maybe try to deliver some checkmate. And on the other hand, we are like three pawns down. We can take one pawn already on f4. So this would win a tempo, but this would be more direct into the attack. Um, is there any other move besides taking that pawn with either piece? I don't know. I mean, like, we don't have time to exploit the pin because our bishop is hanging so either we move our bishop 
without taking the pawn. I don't know if that makes sense. Or we take the pawn. Or we pose a very big threat. But I don't think this is quite working. Or maybe it is. Rook f6 instead of rook takes f4. The idea being that this bishop can protect the h4 square, but it cannot protect the h6 square. So for example, after rook takes f4, he can try bishop d8. And then I still need to work for the checkmate. Probably hard. But after rook f6, how does he stop this idea? So rook f6. Let's say he takes my bishop. That should be the easiest. Rook here. And it's impossible to stop the mate. So he cannot take my bishop after rook f6. Which makes rook f6 a very interesting move to consider. He cannot stop my rook from... He cannot prevent my rook... Uh, from going to h6 and he cannot escape because then I take with check and then it's going to be made and if he tries to escape the other way I still threaten mate if he keeps running I cut him and it's going to be made oh maybe he can try this at that point after rook h1 knight g1 I will take on c1 and I am a lot of material up and probably winning. But okay, that's that's definitely an, a defensive idea for him. This 92. So rook here, king here, rook here, knight here. Check. Ninety one. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Rook here, king here. Bishop takes. But then I could start with bishop takes. So I don't know if rook f6 is even the best move. Rook here, king here. Bishop takes, he moves the rook, I take the bishop. That's the option. So I, I think rook here makes sense. Okay, it's not the solution. My bad. 15 points. So taking with the rook was the solution, and he escapes instead of going here. Oh, this is disgusting. Oh. Oh, importantly, because of bishop e3. Hmm. Whoa. I, I didn't think this was going to be the theme, to just take a piece and then... And then I'm supposedly stopping all of his pawns. Yeah, that was strange. Hey, Rock and Eagle, what's up? So I thought there was a mate here. For example, this, I, I don't think he stops the mate. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he survives here. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Let's try. Let's try a new one. So I'm in check and my queen is hanging. So I would bet on queen takes rook for the first move. There's going to be a fork in here at some point. But not quite. I mean, if I move the king, 
Can I move the king? Rook takes queen. Rook takes rook and then double rooks. I don't think that... If I'm going to give my queen up, I, I would do it like this. So for example, queen takes, rook e8, like what else? Castles. And if rook takes, then rook takes d4, and if he takes, I have knight f6. And uh, and I'm even checkmating him, not not on, not just taking the queen. Oh no, I have to take the queen, otherwise the queen stops the mate. But okay, I guess the first move has to be this one. And now we'll castle long. And now I would take this. Okay, so far so good. And now I will take this, although he takes the knight. So maybe there's something better than that. Something better than rook takes e4. Oh, but if he takes the knight, beautiful. Rook takes, queen takes, then check and rook h8. And... Oh, he has queen takes g5 check to stop the mate. Yeah. I got too, too overexcited here. And what about knight f6 check immediately? Then he takes my knight. Yeah. Damn. He takes the knight. No good. I don't see anything better than rook takes rook, but... I'm trying. Okay, rook takes rook, queen takes knight, and f4 maybe. I'm not sure how to assess that position. That's why I'm trying to find something better. Rook takes rook, queen takes knight, and I have a problem with the g5 pawn. So not easy at all. Maybe rook g4 <laughs> defends everything, but I don't know. Queen takes a2, rook h4. Puh, cannot calculate. So rook takes rook, queen takes knight. I don't know, I don't see anything better. So knight f6 check at least should be a draw. Knight f6 check, queen takes knight. Pawn takes and rook takes rook. At least equal number of pawns and one rook each side. Drawish. Okay, I'm gonna take the rook. I don't know, I don't see anything. Okay, now I have to find a good move. Because here I thought I thought rook d4, but well I don't know. I also have this check and check, king g7 of course only move. And then maybe f4 to try to play for the mate. Hey Nikolai, what's up? Okay, maybe that's good, because he it's not like he can take my pawn. He has to threaten it. Like for example, rook e8, check, king here, f4. If he takes on g2, then rook h8 is mate. He has no checks, he has no way to take the g5 pawn. Oh, but even if he attacks... No, yeah, queen takes f4 is check. Yeah, so here is my problem, rook e8, check. 
king here f4 and let's say queen to d4 threatening the f4 pawn then g3 now g yeah g then g3 he has no queen e3 check and if queen f2 then rook h8 he has no time to take all of my pawns with checks okay beautiful i think that should be it and here g3 was my idea yes yes <laughs> okay this was a 2400 puzzle and it's a beautiful one Although, to be honest, the first move is kind of obvious. The first move is obvious. Because... <laughs> Thank you, guys. Okay. First move is obvious. And, and now... Castles, takes, takes. And, of course, if he takes my rook, I take the queen with check. There's no mate. Like... If he goes here it's mate but if he goes here there's no mate because i need to take the queen first and here that would be a mistake by me i need to take the queen first instead of going here i need to take it now but okay that line didn't happen because he went for, for the tricky queen f5 and of course if he takes the rook it's game over actually here it's mate i don't need to take the queen here it's Force mate no matter what. Like if he tries to escape, this is mate next move. On g8 or e8. So he takes the knight. And now, yeah, this was annoying. Especially g5. So I need to protect it to be able to do rook h8 to threaten mate. And he needs to threaten the f4 pawn, like for example, if he does something like this, this is going to be mate. Did you win any rapid tournament in leeches? Uh, I can't remember, probably. Although I usually play blitz or bullet tournaments. Um, so he needs to attack the pawn, so that if I go here, he's, he has this check. And then takes here and there's no mate. That's why g3 works. Because now if he goes after the g3 pawn, he has no time to check me enough. Nice one. Let's continue. Okay. I want to do this. Um, and he needs to go to the h line. h8 probably. You won one tournament, congratulations! And the rook is defending h7, so I don't have g7, sorry, so I don't have bishop takes g7 at any point. Okay, first move, I only see this, it's the only check. Uh, I, I guess if he goes here, queen takes f5 wins. Not sure though, not entirely sure that queen takes f5 wins. Hmm. Okay, this problem might be complicated. I could also take on f5 first, which is counterintuitive, but he has no useful checks because queen c1 checking h2, he has no more checks. Oh, he can take my bishop, and then I take his rook, but he has a passed pawn. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like that. Hmm. Wow. Black has a lot of pawns. So bishop check. He has three options. I guess king h7 we can discard it. King h7, queen takes f5 check. If g6 I take the rook with check, that cannot be good. If he goes up... No, that cannot work. That cannot work for him, but I don't have more checks. Bleh. Wow, this is too complex. 
Uh, I didn't get any titles yet. <laughs> Honestly, I I I don't give credit to the CM title. If if any, I will go for the IM title. In like in some years from now, <laughs> not this one definitely. Wow, this is too complicated. Maybe there's something easier. It's like... <laughs> See, I'm titled. The most fake title is NM. NM is National Master. We, we also have the LM, Liches Master. <laughs> They don't give them anymore. And then there's the the online titles by FIDE. Those are the, the, the most fake, in my opinion. The online uh, master, online grandmaster, online international master and, and stuff like that. Like, I registered one day and in, in one single day I got access to one title one online title by the FIDE they are so so accessible uh, but then you have to pay for the title so it's just to re to you know to to get money for the FIDE anyway um, I see this move Queen takes f5 makes also sense because I'm training like a million things from there but I don't see the point in starting with Queen takes f5 instead of Bishop d5 okay the point might be to stop King f8 uh, yeah yeah more or less that's what I'm saying <laughs> Yeah, pff, crazy ideas I have in my head. So, yeah, the only reason to start with queen takes f5 instead of the check is to prevent the king from escaping. Makes sense. So if I start like this and he goes rook f7, I go bishop d5 then and then he, he can check me. <laughs> well, he cannot check me that much, actually. Because h3 is always covered, f1 is always covered, the diagonal this is always covered, so the only check he has is from c1. And once but yeah, but then my bishop falls. That's a little bit concerning. So for example, queen takes f5, queen c1 check, king h2, queen takes bishop, and I better checkmate him because if I take his rook, he's gonna push the pawn. So, bishop check. Okay, that seems like mate. Yeah, so queen takes f5 makes sense. Because if I'm trapping the king, bishop d5 followed by queen h5 um, is a huge checkmate threat. So, queen takes f5, yeah. That's probably better than bishop d5 check in the first place. And also, with the bishop on g2, there's no check on c2. Like, queen c1 check, king h2, there's no queen c2 check. So he runs out of checks after queen c1 check. And he cannot take my bishop because of the mate. So I'm going to do queen takes f5 and we'll see. Okay. <sighs> that makes sense, that pawn push. Because now if I go for the mate, he's going to sack. And I will take. And I will be a piece up. But the position is too dangerous. Maybe that's the solution. Because, you know, it's forced. It's checks. Do I have something better? Like taking the rook? The good point about taking the rook is I'm still threatening bishop takes d5 check. I mean, I'm keeping this bishop. 
that it's really important for the for the attack I think while in this line with bishop takes rook takes queen takes king somewhere what I keep is this bishop which might also help but I only see a perpetual there king h7 queen h5 king g8 I think it's much better to keep this bishop so queen takes rook what is the problem of queen takes rook ah he has the check on f4 that's a problem so queen takes rook queen c1 check king h2 queen f4 check and I have to go back because if I go up queen g3 is mate hmm okay that's definitely a problem of taking the rook that's a problem if I take the rook I cannot escape from there there's no way to, there's no way I escape if queen f4 check king h2 sorry queen f4 check king g1 then queen e3 check Ah yes, he has at least perpetual. So if I take here, he has perpetual. Check. Check on f4. If I try king g1, queen e3 check. The only way to not repeat is this, but queen e2 check. And then we have to repeat. Okay, so queen takes rook is not a possibility. So that leaves us with bishop takes. <sighs> bishop takes, he has to take. I take with check. And then I magically have some move, some, some good move that I still need to find. After let's say king h7. Because if king h8, at least I have queen d8 and queen takes h4, winning more pawns with checks. But if king h7, what do I have? I don't see anything. I don't see anything but repeating. Unless there's some other move that is not taking the rook or taking on d5. That's hard to believe, but maybe. Like bishop d4. <laughs> no, that cannot work. Bishop d4, and then if he takes, I take the rook. No, he has queen a1 and queen e5. No. Darn. Uh, yes, Joel, but I don't mind. Queen c1 check, queen takes c3. I mean, the two lines I'm considering. One of them is taking the rook. I'm done with that line, but in that line, I don't mind if he takes the bishop because I checkmate him after bishop takes d5. <laughs> because queen takes c3 is not check. But the other line... But, okay, anyway, I discarded that line because after queen c1 check, he has queen f4 check and I cannot escape, escape the perpetual. I think if he takes on c3, I'm checkmating him with the other bishop and the queen. But, yeah, there's perpetual there, so I cannot take the rook immediately. But in the other line I'm considering, which is bishop takes... I'm threatening mate, so he has to take queen takes d5 check. I have the initiative, so he does not have queen c1 check if I can find a way to continue with my initiative. The problem is I don't... Uh, I'm not finding a way after king h7. I'm struggling to find a forcing good variation for me. That's why I'm trying to look for other options instead of taking on d5 or taking on d7. 
Um, taking on g7 <laughs> might be an option. Oof. Almost working. Almost working. Taking on g7. But his queen is defending h6. Damn it. Unless there's some miraculous way to escape the perpetual. Queen takes d7, queen c1 check. No, there's no such way. We have 4 king g1, queen e3 check. There's no way to skip the perpetuals. Queen e3 check. King of 1, queen e2 check. Queen g6 is low but strong threat. Where? In which position? Because here there's no, I mean, g7 is defended, so. Uh, queen g6 to threaten queen e8. Is that the idea? Yeah, but I'm not checkmating if I do that. I think I need to find a checkmate or. Or win the rook for free. <laughs> for example, queen g6, queen c, let's say he takes my bishop. Queen check. King h2, queen takes here. Queen e8 check, king h7, queen takes rook. Then d2. Because I have no bishop e4 check, so... It's renewing bishop takes d5. Yeah, but his king is no longer on, on g8 in this line. I mean... Ah, I see your point. Queen g6 and now bishop takes d5 he cannot take because of the g7 mate. Okay, I see your point. But still, after queen c1 check, king h2, queen takes c3, there's no bishop takes d5. Hmm. Darn, this cannot be that complicated. So takes, 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 and yeah, I'm seeing again the line with bishop takes d5, bishop takes d5, rook takes, queen takes, king h7. And let's say... No way. 
No way, it does not work. Okay, let's let's Queen takes d7. No, I cannot walk up. Queen takes d7, queen c1 check, king h2, queen f4 check. If I go up, queen g3 is mate. And uh, yeah, if I try this way, he has queen e3 and queen e2 and back to e3. So yeah, there's no way I think I escape unless I sacrifice one bishop somewhere, but <laughs> I don't see that working. Um, so okay, let's consider the crazy bishop takes g7 first. <laughs> that way, if he takes it with the king, queen takes rook is check, and maybe it leads to something, maybe it doesn't, but at least without the g7 pawn, it's harder for his king to find shelter to my checks. And I still have the bishop. Now, what if he takes with the rook? Then I was calculating bishop takes d5 check, king h8, and I didn't see a win, but maybe there's something better than, than that. It's hard to believe that there's something better than that. So bishop takes d5 check, uh, king has to go to h8, otherwise I checkmate him. And, and queen f8 would force king h7, still not mate. And queen h5 would force rook h7, still not mate. <laughs> because, he, yeah, the problem is his queen is protecting a lot of squares. It's so annoying. It's protecting e5 and it's protecting h6, the two squares I need for these variations to work, to have mates. So bishop takes g7, rook takes bishop d5, king h8, and how do I proceed there? And I need to keep checking because he's the one threatening mates in that line. <laughs> Hi Clown Pong, what's up? Oh, I think I missed a follow. Fuck you, yo. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Huh. I'm struggling with this one. Nice, nice to hear, to read. Nice to read, Clown Pong. Um. Yeah, maybe some deflection like bishop d2 would uh, would allow me to have some squares available, at least the e5 square. So I have the additional option of going queen e6 check, but I think it's worthless because of rook f7. Oh, rook f7, queen e8, rook f8, bishop d5. Whoa! Ah, queen h6 always. Queen h6 always stops the mates. Darn. <laughs> so I don't see anything better than bishop takes d5, but I don't see how to how to win there any, uh, anyway. So. I have two bishops. Should be able to come up with something. Hmm. 
30 minutes with this already. You sure? <laughs> I don't think it's that long, but maybe you're right. So let's let's do one. Let's fail it. Oh. <sighs> I'm not sure. Clown pawn, if I get my with my queen to d4, he trades and promotes his pawn. So I have to be careful with that, but uh, yeah. So I thought here taking with the pawn was an alternative, but yeah, no, it, it's not. So this is the key position where I didn't find the way to win, but I guess there's one way to win. So for example, if queen d4 threatening mate, he trades queens and pushes d2 and then I resign. So Gotta be careful with that. And the same with queen e5. Now, he has one check, two checks. Maybe I have to keep those in mind. Uh, but uh, more importantly, I only have these two checks and I don't see how they lead to anything. Because if check here and he goes here, I only have the check back on d5. And I cannot prevent queen c1 and threaten mate on g7, right? And if I go here to threaten mate, he goes here and wins the bishop. I need to save that bishop. So queen check. Queen h5, queen d1, says Clown Pawn. Okay, that's an idea to stop queen c1. And what happens after? Okay, it's, just, it's definitely an interesting idea. Queen h3 check, king d1, queen d3 check, king f1, try to run. Then I guess if I'm not checkmating and I don't have a check, he might try h3. And h2. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe queen d1 is a little bit passive. But uh, yeah, it's an idea. It's definitely an idea. Okay, what about this check? My point is he cannot go here because of queen f8 winning. So he has to either go up or go here. Or g6. But g6 feels losing, right? It feels bad. Maybe it's not, but it feels bad. Queen f1. Yeah, queen f1 might, might have more sense. So queen f5, I'm considering g6, king g8, or king h6. I think g6 should lose. <laughs> it deserves to lose. <laughs> queen f5 check. I do have bishop g7 then, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I have a million checks. So queen f5 seems nice. If king g8, queen c8 is an additional option, but king back to h7, and what do I have? <laughs> yeah, the d pong is a problem, true. But also the c1 square. Like for example, this, I could block the d pawn and threaten mate. The problem is queen c1 check. <laughs> so this is not an option. Queen c1 check, and I lose my bishop. So it's this and this are the main threats. This is controlled so far with these pieces here. <laughs> so maybe the most stupid move in the world saves the day. Bishop b4, <laughs> what about that?
Okay, Bishop B4 check. I cannot believe Bishop B4, but it's it's definitely an option. Um, I cannot believe it though, but it's an option. That check is an option. Also queen a5. But then he has like a million checks. Yeah. Wow, bishop here? No. I cannot believe it. I mean, the idea is to play this and then block on d2, but I mean, queen check, king up, queen check. No. No. It cannot be. I do have one idea. Okay, queen a5, I do have one. One single idea. <laughs> if king h6, then queen e5 works. Because if he trades, bishop f4 check prevents d2. But... Okay, so I only see... What a long problem. <laughs> I only see these two moves. And I don't like any of those. I think if I had to pick one, I would go for queen f5. So I'm gonna do it because it's it's being long. So let's fail. Okay, now I failed, finally, finally. So let's try to solve it. What? Queen h5, and the problem stops. Queen h5 check is the solution? Why is that? So what happens after, I mean, I understand queen h6 is no good, I guess. Because we just trade, I think, not sure, but how do I make progress here? I only have the check in the previous square, so is queen d1 really the idea? Wow, this is... Oh, ah, queen takes h4, so stupid, how did I miss this? I was looking for a way to to, <laughs> to get my queen to e1 square and it was in front of my nose. Darn. This totally works for white. Queen takes h4. So he probably has to go here. And then... I don't know, maybe... Maybe taking the queen, or maybe queen f5. Still not an easy position. Queen f5, he has this. But now he does not have checks, so yeah, maybe. Okay, complicated puzzle. Queen takes f5 first instead of the check. Too complicated. <laughs> Let's try another one. Uh, okay, so why can't we take the queen? That's the first question to, to, to ask. Why can't we take here? I guess we'll figure it out just by taking because I don't see any other move. <laughs> so is the stream unstable or is it your connection? No, I didn't solve it, Clown Pong. I failed. I miserably failed that one. The last move. True story. Okay, it's fine, says Joel. So, 
I don't know, maybe c6. I mean, knight e7 is not a problem, I guess. But maybe c6 is the idea of, of white. But then I take on d6, right? No, I don't see a problem. Let's take and let's see how the problem continues. Okay, bishop there. Now I see his idea. So this is the crucial moment. If I move the knight, then knight e7 wins the queen back. But what's the material now? It's a queen for a piece. So... So if I give up the queen for a piece now, uh, we're equal. So that's probably not the solution. But if I take here, queen takes f5, still material up? No, I don't think so. That's material equal, absolutely equally, even pawns. Queen takes, rook takes, and then I take here, and it's, actually I'm a pawn down after rook takes e5. So, so no, no material up. But I'm thinking, what if I take here? He has, he really has to play 97 check. And then I take the piece, he takes here, and I take the pawn. And then I'm one pawn up. Yeah, iffy. Just one pawn up. I'm not sure. Yeah, and I take c5 is probably one pawn up. But yeah, just one pawn up. And he has the bishop pair. Probably not good. Now, what about the obvious? <laughs> Step out with the queen slash defend the knight move. What's wrong with that? He can try to play for tricks with bishop takes h6, but of course I'm not gonna take it. What else does white have? Is queen e8 really bad? Well, he takes the knight. Yeah, okay. I mean, if I want to give the knight, I could find other ways, probably, like, Probably, I'm not sure. Like stepping out of the check with the king, or <laughs> I don't know, or moving the queen to a more active square. But I'm not sure if I'm even giving up the knight with queen g4. Queen g4, what can he do? I understand the queen is not in the safest spot there. h3 maybe h3 might be annoying yeah yeah h3 makes sense and then queen g4 is <sighs> stupid move well I, I could go to h5 but uh, yeah I'm losing the knight immediately and and I don't know But okay, let's say I don't I don't move the knight to prevent he him from winning my queen. Let's try some other move. What about bishop g5? Is that a stupid move? 
He cannot take on e4 because I take on e3 with check and then and then it's just a trade and then I move my queen probably to e6 or something. I guess he has to take here, but then I take with the queen, he takes my knight and again. Uh probably half g6, 97 check. I'm threatening queen e3. Yeah, but wow. Yeah, the problem is these pawns are dangerous. I have to take those into account as well. King h8, yes. <laughs> yeah, king h8 and queen e8. Sort of same evaluation, I would say. Like, he takes my knight. And, okay, that's it. He has two pieces, two strong pieces for the queen. Um, I'm trying to find something else. But yeah, sure, like queen e8, bishop takes, pawn takes c5, something like that, maybe. That's bishop c6. I have a challenge from Bird of Hermes, but I'm doing tactics today, sorry guy. Mm. Okay, let's find more stupid moves. Knight e2. Okay, maybe that's stupid. Knight g3. Knight takes d6. Well, maybe that's two pawns up instead of one pawn up. No, it's one pawn up. Okay, knight takes d6 doesn't work. Hey, it's pure Ricky, what's up? Hi. <sighs> Rook f7 is a candidate stupid move. <laughs> Rook f7. <laughs> nice one, Spear Ricky. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> so Rook f7, Bishop takes Knight. Uh, and what's the idea? <laughs> <laughs> Rook takes a 5 No, giving up my material cannot be the solution So Rook f7, Bishop takes Rook f5, Bishop takes Nah, can't believe that And then lose to that to 2 pawns Yeah, it's uh, maybe not the best plan So my question is where to put this knight so that after 97 check and I take on e7 with some piece bishop takes g6 I can do something like win some material so for example knight c3 but then 97 is not forced okay let's try knight c3 97 check bishop takes Bishop takes g6, then I resign. Well, not resign, but queen e6 is an idea. Yes, true. The problem of, after queen e6, bishop takes, is he's threatening bishop d5. Queen takes c4, but then bishop d5. Ah, I thought he had the trick with knight e7. But yeah, you might be right. Queen e6, bishop takes, queen takes c4. c6. Uh, 
I thought he had bishop d5 check and knight e7, but of course I take on e7 and and he does not have enough. But c6, what about c6? <laughs> I take the bishop. Ooh, that's too greedy. That's too greedy. Then he takes my rook or plays c7. He takes my rook, right? And yeah, maybe I'm winning that line. Although 97 check is coming. It feels dangerous for both sides. Queen e6, bishop takes knight, queen takes c4, c6, queen takes bishop, pawn takes rook. He has everything defended. And 97 is coming. What do I do? I can step out. I can do king h7. Then if 97, the bishop hangs on e3. So king h7 is an idea there. But he just has to move the bishop, of course. Let's say bishop... Well, not easy to move that bishop. So rook f3 may be defending the bishop to be able to move the knight. Well, it feels dangerous, but it's a line. From the material point of view, it's... It's good. We have a queen for a piece. But... Yeah, I'm a little bit scared of those pawns on d7 and d6. Uh, Bert of Hermes, I'm doing tactics today. I'm not accepting challenges. Sorry, sorry, buddy. Maybe in the night, but not, not now. Now I'm doing two hours of tactics. Okay, so queen e6 is an idea. It's a greedy idea, so I'll do it, because we need to... <laughs> we need to speed up a little. I'm taking too long to solve the, the problems. Um, okay, I guess if we did that, it's to take this pawn. And c6, <laughs> of course. So I guess I'll take the bishop and accept that line. C7 is not a problem, no. 97 first. Queen takes 97. What happens there? I take. And then he takes the rook and I go back. Yeah, no problem. Okay, good one. Good one. <laughs> <laughs> so here I take, he takes my rook, I go back. And it's everything under control. Maybe even here. No, not there. No, rook takes f6. I'm already... Oh, actually there's this. Stupid me. 97 is terrible. And after this, I go here. Important move. Maybe there's more moves, but 97 was a little bit scary. Yeah. Okay. Uh, wow, plus 18. Good one. So I'm going to do a small break because it's more than one hour already. Uh... I'm going to do one small break and change this water for beer. And I'll be back in a minute. I think.
Okay, I'm back. Let's continue. <coughs> okay, what do we have here? We have a king that we want to kill. So, yeah, what's going on here? With b3 check, isn't that totally winning? Like, he never has a perpetual, so... Isn't this... Isn't this, like, too obvious? I mean, king c2, then I have to take with the rook, because, yeah, of course, there's the trick. If I take with the queen, he can take and, and take. But, yeah, I, I, I agree with you, Spiriki. If, if rook b3 does not work, <laughs> then chess is totally unfair. <laughs> um, so king c2, I take with the rook, and... And then what? I mean, I'm gonna do rook b. I mean, yeah, there's no other candidate move. <laughs> so <laughs> now it's important to take with the rook. And, uh, and yeah, that's it. Maybe. So what's the rating? Twenty hundred. Maybe, maybe uh, a lot of people miss this this check here. I guess that's the reason why. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he has three pass pawns. Well, he has two. Ah, well, three after this, yes. Uh, but come on. <laughs> this king. Okay, let's continue. Um, okay, here. What are these knights doing there? It's a pity that I cannot take on g6. Can I? Or maybe trade first on e7. But rook takes e1 is check, so st stupid. I'm thinking stupid stuff. Can I trap a knight or something? Okay, first of all, my queen is hanging, so. <laughs> Um, I can trade the queen and then find a good tactic or I can find a good tactic now but bishop takes e6 I guess he takes my queen no problem there bishop f5 he takes my queen no problem there for black I mean so okay I can maybe step out attacking a knight and then find some discoveries with my bishop okay this this seems logical, yeah. Queen c3, threatening a knight, and if he saves the knight, like knight f4, I can take on g6 and winning a piece. Or bishop f5, no, nah, bishop takes g6 better. So, queen c3, Bishop takes g6. I guess I take with the rook. Because queen takes h3 is another option, but I guess I take here first. You know, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Queen e5, okay. Now the logical queen takes h3 defends h2, so. <laughs> yeah, I don't see anything wrong about it. Yeah. Okay, so the problem, the problem still not over. So now he's attacking my knight and my bishop. Okay, ways to defend. I cannot defend like this because of my knight hanging on h2. Um, okay, problem is not over. Problem is not over. So what if I just trade stuff? It feels scary, but it feels like an option. Knight here shouldn't work. Shouldn't. Or maybe it does. But after knight takes f3, I have to take with the with the 
with the no, it does not work. Knight, knight, knight f3 does not work. Knight f3, knight takes f3. And I don't have knight takes f3. I don't have queen takes f3. I don't have bishop takes f3. Yeah, I don't see any other option but to take on g6. I don't know. Okay, I take on g6. He can trade rooks, but as soon as he takes my bishop, I save my knight. Like queen d3, no, queen d3 is still not possible. So, like knight d to f3, or even the other knight to f3. Yeah, it seems logical, right? To take on g6 and get out of the problem. Then nothing's. Only one piece left is hanging, and I can save it in my turn because if he takes here, he doesn't have a big threat, so I just move my bishop out. Yeah, I will take on g6. Yeah, that was it. Good. Okay, check. So I have not a lot of legal moves. Oh, well. <laughs> and uh, rookie one doesn't seem logical to, to allow checkmate. This maybe, this maybe, Five points to my goal, yes, because my goal was a little bit low. <laughs> and uh, okay, bishop there or knight there, queen there, also a possibility, not quite believing it. So, what's the problem with knight here? The check, right? <laughs> it's Piriki, thanks for the follow. So Knight d1, queen, check, king up, bishop e5, check, it's not working because I'm, I take and then checkmate him. Like, I mean, if, if, if this rook leaves somewhere at some point, like rook takes e5, then I, I have checkmate here. If he moves the rook, I have, yeah, I will have checkmates. Isn't rook f6 instantly winning? Well, it would maybe in a kids tournament where you can be in check both of the, both of the players, but yeah, the problem is here we're in check. So yeah. <laughs> so knight d1 and bishop d1 are the moves I'm considering. I don't consider any other move, but. On the other hand, I like this bishop here to checkmate, so let's see knight one If knight one works, then it's over, but a uh, good point. I, <laughs> yeah, I can try rook f6. It, it, it probably won't allow me. Hey, NDTR, what's up? Can I try rook f6? So does liches allow you to make illegal moves in the puzzles or I'll fail this one by trying rook f6? There's only one way to know. Ah, it wouldn't let me. Okay, so... Um, yeah, darn. Uh, it's okay, I want to go 91. There's only one check he can do. And any other move by him, like rook f6, I have, so yeah. If he takes on e6, I take on e6. So at some point he has to do this check. And after king h2, queen f4 check, I have bishop g3 at least. At least. And I also have g3. Not even leave in this diagonal because f2 is still protected by my knight, incredibly, and d2 by my queen. So he has no more checks. So, yeah, I think knight one should work. Knight one if rook takes e6, queen takes e6, 
Okay, I'm gonna go 91. I don't see any other move. And he took it, which of course I didn't consider and it's like the obvious move. <laughs> so now I have to choose what to take with. Uh, because I don't want to leave this diagonal, but I don't want to leave this rank either. And I'm threatening mates here, so... Okay, let's see what happens with bishop takes. Bishop takes... If rook takes e6... Try rook f6 again. <laughs> okay, yeah, rook f6 wins. Let me... Ah! Uh, Darn. It wouldn't allow me. Now I'm realizing besides bishop takes and queen takes, I also have bishop one and rook e1, which is kind of funny. But both of them seems to lose with checkmate in two for black, so that's not an option. So if I take with the bishop and then he takes here, the problem is after takes queen f1 wins my bishop. I, th I think that's the problem. And if I take with the queen, uh, then I'm a piece up. So I think I'm gonna take with the queen and see what happens. Yeah, <laughs> not, so, not so difficult. Like, yeah, here, I don't have a checkmate. That's the problem. So I have to take and then he takes my bishop, so... H4 is hanging, where? <laughs> I didn't see it. <laughs> okay, so I was lucky because I got the right move without considering what happens after queen takes H4. Wow. So, I guess there's something related with queen d6 check. He doesn't want to step into any discovery, so he will probably go, go here. This is still defended, but then the queen hangs on h4, right? That's the thing. Oh, because here I have a double check and yeah. So that's the thing. And if he trades first, if he trades first, bishop takes doesn't seem to work. Ah, check and check. Oh, the queen is there. <laughs> what am I saying? Oh, bishop e7. Yeah. Obviously, mate. So then he has to go here, and then this is. This is gonna be mate, right? Using the ping. Only move, check, only move, and mate on f8. I can pick one. And Or mate on f6, even more beautiful. And of course, I didn't see any of this when I took with the queen on d1. I just saw I, I, I hung the other bishop in the other line, <laughs> so I was a little bit lucky. And But hey, we achieved the goal, 2400, let's continue. Okay, I'm in check, that's good because not a lot of legal moves. So I have three options. I have three options. Um, let's try to discard some of them. Oh, there's no rook f6. Oh, but there's one rook takes h6. Look. Oh, it doesn't allow me. Rook takes here. Oh, rook takes here. Must be winning. Darn. And this check? This check? Oh, this check. This check has to... Ah, oh. and sacrificing the queen here? No. Wow. 
Yeah, I think the puzzles usually go in in some kind of order. And I don't do a lot, so you probably did this. Okay. Doesn't allow me to do a lot of moves. Like rook here should be good. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Okay, should move the king. Oh, sure. I need to move the king. Oh, what? What? Darn. They don't allow me to. <laughs> yeah, Juanra, sorry. We, we're, we're making fun of, of Joel. <laughs> because of the previous puzzle when, when we were in check. And he just suggested an illegal move, so I'm I'm trying all the illegal moves in this position. Like maybe G3, some Luft? Nah. Okay, so now let's focus on the three illegal moves we have. What is good and what is bad? Okay, taking the knight, it's usually good. The problem is, so it's the first I would consider, taking a piece. The problem is it exposes a lot the king, so... Uh, I mainly use liches, but not only. <laughs> okay, so rook g8 check is a little bit annoying, I guess. I think I have to go to f2. I might run. Oh, if I go to f2, queen takes f6, king takes rook. Uh, rook g3 check. Well, that's too complicated and too very exposed, my king. Maybe that's the line. Let's try to find other lines. But yeah, okay, it's a piece. It's a piece. Rook g3 check, I think it's not good because ju just king h2. And then I'm checkmating on h6. Yeah, I, I use mostly, I mostly use Lee chess. And chess 24. I use chess 24 as well. But yeah, I've never get banned. <laughs> um, so takes rook g8, I'm scared about. Yeah, rook g8. King f2 only move. Then he takes my rook with check. Well, He's not forced. He can go like, like rook g3, threatening a lot of nasty stuff. So, yeah, I'm not sure. So if I don't take the knight, what do I do? King h2 allows some checks. King h1 allows some checks, not the best. Sure, I I saw Copa di Charachera, of course. I'm I'm watching. I'm watching it. Um. Oh, well, this is complicated. I have the feeling in this position I need to calculate a lot of lines that I'm not calculating. So <laughs> I cannot smell the solution. I need to calculate. What do you think will be the winner of the Copa di Charachea? I mean, Lenier Dominguez is playing, so... Ah, Vallejo, yes. Vallejo is also playing. I would bet on... I would bet on... on Lenier Dominguez. Yeah, I think Lenier is going to win. I think he's the best. At, you know, at Blitz and... more knowledge also than... Vallejo, I don't know. I'm a fan of Vallejo, but I think Linear is gonna win. And if it's for my liking, I mean, the one I like the most, how he plays and how he explains, uh, is uh, Ivan Salgado. I really... <laughs> I would like him to, to, to win. But yeah, Linear is so strong. 
ah, what to do here? So what are our threats? For example, let's say I step out of any checks. I'm threatening rook takes f7. That's a huge threat. The rook... Yeah, Pepe Cuenca is the finest, for sure. Then his rook on e3 is also pinned. So... So king h1 is definitely annoying for him. But he can go back to g5 and defend f7, right? And then what's my threat? So king h1, knight g5, what did I win? I just lost a pawn. And f7 is defended. h6 is no longer under attack. Same goes with king h2. So I think I, I have to take the knight and hope for the best. Let's do it. And now let's see. So I think this move... Okay, king h1, of course, it's discarded. Now the thing is between those two moves. But the problem with this is... Okay, maybe that's not a problem. Wow, I didn't consider king h2 to be a, <laughs> to be a valid move here, but maybe I need to consider it. Because king f2, queen takes check, king takes rook. Rook e8 check. King, king d3 allows queen takes rook with check, so king d4, <laughs> rook d8 check. No, king d4 is no, not legal, what am I saying? So, so this is only move queen takes with check. Yeah, I have to be losing in that one. So I think the move is king h2, which I didn't expect at all. And I guess if he tries to checkmate me, I, I, I get first. And if he does the only check he has, which is this or this, but I mean, it's like similar. So this, that def keeps the rook defended. I go with one rook to f4, not sure which one. And if he sacrifices on h3, I have to take. He does not have more checks. Wow. Okay, so king h2. And now I need to block with one rook because otherwise he's going to checkmate me. So now this is the, the, the most important moment <laughs> I've got so far. So I need not to fail this move. <laughs> so the only difference I see is if I go with this one, I'm still threat threatening to take on f7. If I go with this one, I'm not. So... Hey, rook takes swings? Ah, he wouldn't let me. Rook takes? Nah. Uh... I think rook 1 to f4, I'm trying to to see what's the problem. Or what is our threat? Let's say rook 1 to f4, sorry, rook 1 to f4, rook g7. And uh, I'm not sure what's our threat, because if I take on f7, he takes, and uh, my rook is pinned, uh, so... And I cannot take with the bishop, never. Like, rook here, rook g7. If I take with the bishop, then he has rook e2 check, winning my queen. So I'm not even sure what's my threat after rook f4. I know I'm surviving, I'm a piece up, but I'm not sure how to continue. So maybe I need this rook... Maybe I need to move this rook instead of the other. To be safer? Then he has queen g5 maybe? No, because then rook f7. He needs to keep the pin.
Rookie four. Ah, bishop d3. Stupid. Wow, I'm not sure. I know there's 50%. <laughs> I know this is 50%. One is winning, the other is not winning, maybe even losing, but I'm not seeing why. I want to go with this one to be able to take on f7, but the truth is, after a move like rook g7, I cannot take on f7. Maybe I can go bishop d3 though. Ah, bishop d3, king g8, <laughs> and I cannot take on h6. So, yeah, I'm not sure. I want to go with this one, but then I, I can't play. King h1 loses to rook h3 with mate next move. So, yeah, that's the only move I, I know for sure it's losing. And if I go with this one, rook f3 an issue? If I go with this one, rook f3? Okay, that's one point, that with this one he doesn't have that move. So rook here, rook f3. Mm, I guess I'm more scared of rook g3. I mean rook g3 or even the other rook to g3. So if I'm going to have a rook pinned on f4, I probably prefer to be able to play the other to f2. Or maybe not. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> so rook here, if rook f3, I don't know, I guess. I guess he's not threatening anything, so I can go Rook takes f7 check, and, or bishop d3 check. Yeah, rook f3 not a problem, I think. Rook g3 might be. But again, I have a million checks. That should help me. And actually, he has to go rook g7 at some point. Okay, so rook 1 to f4, rook g7, queen f2? I need to unping at some point. Okay, I want to do this. But I'm not sure what's the follow-up. And if I do this, it feels wrong to me, but it feels also safer. And there's some reason I'm not seeing to explain why one is good and the other is not good. Yeah, this feels safer because then the other rook is free to defend. And this feels stronger because then the other rook is feel free to attack. <laughs> but not to defend. Oh, this is hard. I need to pick one. And my rating is exactly 2400. <laughs> which was my goal. Mm. Okay, rook here, rook d7, how do I continue? Bishop d3 check, king g8. Rook here. I have then rook f2, queen d4. Maybe after rook here I also have queen d4. No, I don't. Because of rook e2 sacrificing the exchange to give me mate. Okay, I'm starting to, to see ghosts. I'm gonna go with this one. I think I'm gonna fail because my gut feeling told me the other. Ah! The thing is, I don't know why. I mean, I know why I wanted to go with this, but I don't know why that's not the solution. Kinji too. That's interesting. Interesting that clown pawn didn't suggest it. Uh, sorry, Joel. Sorry, I'm mixing. 
Kinji 2, I think, oh, it wouldn't allow me Kinji 2. So, yeah, I thought the defensive one. I, I chose the defensive. Okay, I want to forget about this problem. Let's continue. Uh, darn. Need to come back. Okay, this, this, I have the feeling I can solve this one. Hey, poor red, white, blue. Absolutely true. 20 hundred is average. If I'm not mistaken, you could argue I'm I'm weak, but I think it's average. Okay, I have to be careful with. I mean, I want to checkmate him or win the queen. That's the first thing. Uh, now, I have to be careful with a simple plan by white that is here and checkmate. And if I go here to prevent king h6, I have to be careful of bishop here and checkmate. So those are the things to be careful about. Now, how to set up a checkmating pattern against him? Well, rooks on this rank could help. Um, for example, rook here, and if he tries to block, then this check might work or not. <sighs> there might be a forcing line, though. Check if he goes here to checkmate me. Check, goes back. Check, king here or here in both case well here I have rook f5 immediately and here I have this check in here to prevent losing the queen but rook f5 wins the queen because queen d8 is still not possible so so maybe the check allows me to win the queen if he goes to h6 I win the queen I think and if he goes here then rook check. Oh, he has e7 in that line I, I mentioned. Yeah, so I, I yeah I, I miscalculated. I can win the bishop though in that line. Rook d4 would be clown pawn's first move. Rook d4 makes sense. Makes a lot of sense because then rook g1 check, rook h1 check, rook h5 check, rook f5 mate, even if the queen gives the king some luft. So yeah, rook d4 makes a lot of sense. If king h6 is forced mate, if f4 if f4 It's not forced mate. Okay, after rook d4, I think the only thing to calculate is f4 because the other lines are forced. Queen e7 leads to mate, king h6 leads to mate, bishop a3 leads to mate. So, check, check, and mate. Okay, f4 is the only, the only thing. Yeah, I can take the bishop. For sure I can take the bishop. But then, okay, he's not winning because of... Okay, I can take the bishop. Let's say I take the bishop. Let's take that. He cannot try to checkmate me because of this check, always. I have that. He has one check though. 
And after king h7, he can try queen here, threatening my rook on b4 and the pawn f7, and I cannot defend both. Uh, then things start to get... Oh, but then I have rook g1 mate. No, f4, the pawn is on f4. Rook g1 checking h4. Yeah, I'm I'm sort of scared that if he takes on f7 it's going to be a draw. And I think it's going to be a draw. So I have to be careful about taking that bishop, but uh, maybe I can do better after rook d4. However, rook d4 seems like a strong move. I have the feeling that that's the, the, the winning move. So rook d4, f4, I was trying to see what happens after rook g1 check. Uh, if king h6, I win, I'm sure. I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> Draw is the best result. <laughs> Mr. Anish Giri is in the house. The thing is, in Liches, you don't have puzzles uh, which solution is to draw. You you have you have those on Chess Twenty Four, but not on Liches. Liches, I think you don't have those puzzles. So. So if I take the bishop and he plays queen d8 check, um, king h7, queen f8, I'm not sure if I'm escaping from the checks. I think I'm not. And in the check, 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 no. And in that case, oh, yes, I am. Oh, yes, I am. True. So rook here, f4, rook takes, queen d8 check, king h7, queen f8, rook check, the pawn is on d f4, so he has to do this, and then rook takes f4, defending f7. And by the way, it's check, so I'm going to be mating him soon. It's okay, let's go, rook d4. He doesn't even try f4. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this might be might be even better to escape with the queen already. So now I can take the bishop and defend this pawn. Should be good. I can double rooks to to do nothing because that's no good. Or I can check here. But after the check he can go here and then not sure how am I winning. I think I'm gonna take the bishop. I think I'm going to take the bishop. Check king f6. Okay, after king f6 I can double, but 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 he then has this beautiful bishop d2 move that saves the day for him. Okay, I'm gonna take the bishop. And that's it. Yes. Okay, it was nice to see some variations in here. This was nice. Takes, queen check, here, here. But, just in time, check and check. Defending, and probably this is going to be game over. Yes, rook d4 was right. And the in the line with queen f3 that he played, there was this option here that seemed nice because some threats, but first of all he has this. <laughs> but secondly, this beautiful move defends also because the rook cannot take on d2. Anyway, let's continue. I think I have like 5 or 10 more minutes. Uh, let's try to get back to the 2400. You can't offer a draw to the machine? I don't think so. And even if I could, 
the machine will not fall for any psychological play like that. <laughs> okay, in this position, what do we have? We have a fork. A fork I can see. We have a fork. If he takes on g6 with check, I go to h7 to keep the fork and Am I winning material? I mean, I'm an exchange down, so I would be two pieces for a rook. I would have two pieces for a rook. Okay, that could not be bad. Do I have something better or stronger? Continue con torre. Uh, maybe. So f4, rook takes g6 check, king here. I don't see the perpetual. Hi, can't do three, three times. Hello again. I, I don't see any, any perpetual. There, rook moves. I take with check, and I don't know. I don't see any problem. I'm gonna do it. Okay, now I can. Uh, <laughs> I have to choose. Uh, if I have to choose, I would pick the rook. What is ninety-five about? So his point is after I take. What is his point anyway? <laughs> I mean, this is no good. If he takes here, I guess I go to f5, take, and then I take on e5. Uh, I'm gonna take the rook, guys. I don't see his idea. I'm scared, but I don't see it. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, good. I don't know, it's a computer. Maybe this is better for for white than, than this. I don't know. Okay, good. I saw a fork. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. Okay, what do we have here? There's a hanging knight on g1. I can see that. But he's trying to checkmate me. However, there's no immediate checkmate. First of all, my bishop controls c7, so there's no rook c8 check followed by rook c7. And if rook c8 check in g7, there's no more checks because my knight does a pretty good job defending important checking squares. So why don't I just take the knight? Is there any tricks with a check here? Is there any tricks? Are there any tricks? I could also take on g2. Doesn't feel right. So takes on g2. <laughs> and if if knight here d3 check, then king up. Nah, that cannot work. Oh, knight here wins the queen. Oh, doesn't work. Hey, a fork! Ah, doesn't work. <laughs> uh, so, queen takes g1. What is wrong with queen takes g1? Maybe I'm not threatening enough, but I think I am. I mean, queen takes g1. I don't see. I don't see what's white's plan. Uh, for example, rook c8 check king g7 queen e8. It's no more than a check. He's threatening a check, so I. I just take on g2. And if queen f8 check king f6. Rook c6 is prevented by, by my queen. 
I don't know. I think I'm gonna take. I prefer to take with the queen because because I want to control c7. You know, rook c8 check, king g7. Rook c7 would be a problem. So I want to prevent that. I'm gonna do it, and I failed. So there was something better, of course. What about this push? Wow. <laughs> okay, this is too deep for me. This was too deep for me. I understand now I have some checks, but was it that problematic? Did he have... Okay, uh, as far as I understand, it's important to have a check in the next move, because, okay, white... Yeah, that's what Joel says. Probably he has threats, and... Uh... For example, let's say this, check, this. I saw this kind of check, but this is not winning. So maybe he has some other threatening ideas. And at some point he has to do a slow move, a move without check, like this one. And this is not the one winning, probably. And then I need to have a check. I think that's the thing. The problem is I have a check, but of course he has this, right? No, but even here. Okay, I think I'm going to turn the engine on to see. What's going on here? After queen takes d1, the engine says queen f6 with a draw. Okay, so that's the point. After queen takes d1, g1 instead of d3, he has this move, which is which is challenging. And now after d3 check. He goes, here I have no checks because f2 is defended. Oopsie. Oh man, Clown Pong. There's a conspiracy in here. Yeah, Queen f6 I didn't see. I didn't see Queen f6. Um, if I think it's better to learn chess doing tactics or playing against opponents, well, it depends on... What part of chess <laughs> do you want to learn? You know, chess is chess is so uh, wide that you can improve by doing absolutely anything you can imagine, like playing from playing bullets to analyzing games or reading even reading books. I mean, you can improve everything. I think tactics is uh, one of the parts where we usually fail so you can improve a lot by doing tactics especially in low levels but yeah i don't know playing you know you you learn to play by playing <laughs> in general in any in any game or sport so playing is also necessary from my point of view um, yeah also I think playing with opponents will give you some sense of competition some sense of you know in chess there are uh, more things than objective evaluation apart from objective evaluation of the positions and apart from perfection in chess then there's the competition and there's a lot of you know things to learn there like how to play practical chess instead of <laughs> looking for the perfection like with computer or with tactical puzzles that they have only one solution you look for the perfection you look for you know polishing your 
your tactical skills or improving that theoretical way but then when it comes to to put yourself in front of a board and play against a human opponent who maybe you know the same as you will have his stronger points his weak points in his play then um, you have a lot to learn also about that about uh, practical play and how to keep control over a position and how to counter attack when you're in, in, in bad shape how to trick your opponent <laughs> a lot of stuff so Shin Hikari is saying after d6, king d7, bishop f4 I don't see any other difference after what? d6, king d7, what? I, I think you have the wrong coordinates, but let me see if I see what your point is. Maybe after this, this, and this, is that your point? But uh, but we're losing a piece. <laughs> we're just losing a piece. I mean, there's no more checkmate threat on c8. I understand, but now we are an exchange down. That's a piece of, of difference between one line and the other. Did you consider playing the Arena Kings tourney Wednesdays for streamers on chess.com? Uh, didn't know about it. I mean, I've heard about it, but there's a lot of <laughs> things going on in my life and I have no I don't have time for everything. <laughs> but maybe maybe at some point. I don't usually use chess.com, but I think I could. Why d6 now and not later? I guess you mean d3. And I think the difference is one piece. <laughs> exactly, because... Yeah, here we don't have more checks. f2 is protected and f4 is protected. And this is coming, so we need to give up a piece to prevent the checkmate. And if we do it in the first place, if he tries this, I guess we have this to force him to take on d3. And then we, we will have checks. If he takes as he did, then after this we have plenty of checks to survive, I guess. Like check here, king move somewhere. I don't know where. And then at least we have this. But also this or other moves. So it's important D3 to to allow us to have a check after that. And if this we have time to go here and he has to take because if he goes back we take with check the knight. And yeah, this is more or less the same. Now we have check and Okay, maybe maybe this still have to be maybe we still need to to be accurate here with our checks. Yeah, I guess this is right. After this we move the bishop because we have knight d8. We could even have this, but I'm not sure. No, we don't have knight d8. What am I saying? Okay, so in this position we need to be accurate, or maybe bishop f4 wasn't the idea here. Well, it has to be. It has to be. And here, wow, this is interesting. I guess we take the knight, although we have this as well. Ah, no, the, the knight is pinned, sorry. I'm starting to make illegal moves myself. Ah, here we have this. <laughs> yeah. Okay, 95 is a good resource. Okay, uh, I need to leave now. Let me do a final one.
let me do a final one uh, they are not going to give me 15 points so I'm not going to achieve my goal but maybe I get to fail it okay the, the queen is tied to defending this and there's no rook h8 tricks because I have h8 defended with my queen etc so with that queen tied I would like to have King H8. Oh, good one, Joel. King H8, let me see. Ah, no, it's not King H8. Okay. Hmm. There should be a special category for for puzzles with uh, allowing illegal moves like rook d1 here should should win on the spot but yeah it's not legal apparently so rook c7 that's a nice idea yeah I wanted to go here and use this pin but of course <laughs> using it immediately would be interesting um, so rook c7 and what is white's threat anyway isn't this just winning that piece? Well, I guess after rook c7 he can step out of the check and then if I take he goes like queen d4 or something to threaten mate. So let's say I take with the queen. He goes queen d4. How do I stop the mate? f6 followed by rook g7, then I lose my bishop and this pawn is passed. And if I take with the rook, I might have enough checks. So rook c7, king g2, rook takes, and if queen d4, rook g1 check, I can trade queens on d1. Yep. Okay, I think that should work. Yep. Good one. So I think this was a little bit problematic because there are some mates going on in here. Not actually easy to escape. I think f6 and rook g7 is required. Because if I try like this, it feels wrong is wrong I have to go back probably to avoid no that's checkmate Whoa, this feels wrong and if I go here I defend the mate but then this is too scary after king d4 queen takes d4 what What? Ah, in this line. Yeah, in this line, yes. So in this line, he has to, to, to do differently. He, he, he yes. Maybe queen a seven can be tried, but uh, yeah, sure. Sure, yeah. Uh, yeah, I miscalculated as well so okay I'm going to do just one more one more for count to three three times but it it's absolutely the last one and you know I'm miscalculating I I'm solving some of them with luck okay now I want to move this rook Hylogag is now following. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Okay, last puzzle. I want to move this rook. Where is the best place? I want to give checkmate. So rook c6 definitely makes a lot of sense. Is rook c6 winning on the spot? No, because he escapes by a 
b5. What am I saying? What about rook takes a6? Look here also a possibility. And finally, last but not least, rook here to go here. Oh, rook here, stopping king c6, king b5. Wow, a lot of possibilities. What is the only one winning? Okay, let's see a logical one. Check. Not sure about that one. <laughs> This is also a logical one. Just checking here. A mistake of the game. It's impossible three queen. No, not impossible. Actually, this is from a real game, and Black just promoted. Rookie six is tempting. Yes. The problem is rookie six, king c eight. I'm not sure how to proceed. Because queen c4 check does not seem to win. Or does it? No, it does not. King b8. So yeah, rook e6 is tempting, but... But on the other hand, taking here and taking on a7 seems also very, a very interesting option. King b8 loses? Where? Rook e6, king c8, queen c4, king b8. How does that lose? I mean, the rook is defended by the queen on e1, so... So bishop d6 check. I don't see that losing for, for black. Black has made in one. Yeah, also true. That's why I, I like to take on a7. Yeah, bishop d6 check king a8. And how do we win in that line? Because if we take on e8, he takes with he takes back with the queen. So I don't see any mates there, uh, Shin Hikari. Clown pawn, rook c6 takes queen d6 check king b5. And... I resign there, <laughs> and I resign there. So yeah, that's the first, the first move I I try to make win. But I think taking the queen, rook takes a6 check. King has to go to one of these two squares, and I take the queen. There's no more checkmate on g1. Actually, he has no checks, and rook a8 checkmate is a threat. If he if he tries to escape from the mate, it's hard for him, and I have. At least equal material, but I think his king is killed. So g3, <laughs> g3. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take on a7. That feels the most natural because if king d8, rook a8, bishop c8, queen d6 is made, and otherwise I have checks all over the diagonals. Yeah, okay, this is the last one. And it's going to be root takes a6, and I failed. Uh, okay, now I can try random moves. <laughs> so rook e6 doesn't win, right? Uh, oof. Oof. Rook c6 does not win, right? Oh! How did we miss this checkmate? Oh! <laughs> Clown Pong, you were right. You were right. Rook c6 totally won. How easy it is once you see the first move, right? How how fast do you see the idea once you... It's fast to stop, to spot the idea once you, you see the first move. Yeah, Clown Pong, but... 
I also was was lucky in the ones I solved myself. So ah, it's mating. It's mating three. This position. It's mating three. You know, if you give me this position and and you you tell me it's checkmate in three, I would find rook c six. Because of course rook takes a seven is not mating three. But okay, it is what it is. Queen c4. Ah. Okay, guys, enough, enough for me. See you. See you later, <laughs> probably. Bye. <laughs>